Hi everybody, hi teacher. My name is Ariana Ruiz and this is my answers for the assignment four. Question number one. Tell me your favorite song and why do you have an emotional connection with it? Um, I don't have one favorite song because there are many songs that I like, but um, the song that I have an emotional connection with is I'm Yours by Jason and Mars. And this is my father's favorite song and actually one of the first songs that I, that I learned in English. Every time that I listen to it, I think of my father trying to sing it because he, he doesn't know English. So when we listen to the song together, I try to teach, to teach him um, how to pronounce the words and the, their meaning and it's fun. And question number two, what is the definition of happiness to you? What does it take to live a happy life? Um, for me, happiness is more than an emotion, is more than a state of mind. I think it's more like a state of consciousness that one have, um, one decide to have, sorry, one, one decide to have. Uh, because happiness, um, Happiness doesn't depend and on on how you feel, if not on on the things that you have in your life and how grateful you are for having them. You know, this is the key. Be grateful for the things that you have. And I'm not saying that you have to feel to feel happy and uh, all the time because there is a difference between feeling happy and being happy. You can be a happy person but feel sad uh, at times or feel angry, but doesn't mean that you, can't, that, that you can't be happy. So happiness depends depends on, on how you perceive or you see, or you see the things or situations in your life and how grateful you are. Do you think dreams can come true? What do you think it takes to do so? I am one of those people who think that we are, we can, we can do anything that we want to do if we decide to do it. Uh, everybody has abilities to do great things. The key is in visualization. You know how you see yourself in the future. In your future, you can ask yourself those questions. Um, how do you see yourself in your in the in 10 years or in 15 years 15 years um what kind of people you are what is your job where do you live i don't know and now once you see that person that you want to become start acting like that person would do it every day do something that brings your brings you closer to that person you want to be this is the key. Bye. That is all. Thank you.